the best way to describe is, you know, a, a beautiful nightmare. You know, I had to go through a lot, but I appreciate every second of it. You know, um, it made me into the person I am today, the, the discipline that I have and the respect that I have for people who, you know, come out of situations like that. And, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really regret, you know, too much about it. You know, I'm happy where I am right now. Arizona State senior forward Shaquille McKissick is the leader of the Sun Devil basketball team. He leads by example because of what he's been through. McKissick's path to Pac-12 basketball has been anything but simple. After high school, he spent three months in jail for attempted burglary and was homeless at one point. There was a two-year stretch where McKissick didn't even play competitive basketball. A lot of people in my position, you know, they would have gave up. And, you know, I feel like that's what a lot of people do instead of just sticking to it. And it's just you just don't give up. You know, a lot of things will work out for you if you just stick with what you know. You know, I always tell people, you know, living in the car was probably the lowest point, but I think looking back on it now, where I am today, probably not seeing my family. But McKissick was able to turn things around. He ended up playing basketball at Edmonds Community College in his hometown of Seattle, Washington. After an impressive sophomore year at Edmonds, he started generating interest from Division I schools. That's when Arizona State coach Stan Johnson recruited him. He's got God-given talent. Uh, but I think the thing that makes him special is I think he sincerely wants to be good. You know, I think there's a lot of guys who talk about it, but they don't always live it. You know, Shaq works at his craft. McKissick averaged nine points and five rebounds last season and went from being a no-name junior college transfer to a starter. He expected that to be his first and only season as a Sun Devil because he was out of eligibility. However, after reviewing his case, the NCAA granted him an extra year of college ball. At some point in time, you just gotta just say, you know, it's beyond me. You know, some things are just destiny. And, you know, I felt like last year I had an okay season, but it was always in the back of my mind. You know, I really hope I get this second year. So once I finally got it, it was just like, um, it was just a sigh of relief. At 24 years of age, McKissick says he sees himself as a role model for a lot of the younger guys on the team. His goal has been to help ease the transition for some of the new junior college players. In the beginning, before a season ever even started, he just told me that, uh, It'll be tough, it'll be, a, it'll be an adjustment. It depends on the person itself to uh, make that adjustment and see how you feel about it as a person. And uh, him giving me that heads up made me more alert, made me want to, I was anxious to see how it was for myself. And he said that the first four minutes of a basketball game, you'd never be so tired, which was definitely true. McKissick is a man that has lived a life with nothing guaranteed, but what is for certain is that he will be the leader of the Sun Devil squad for the next four months. Regardless of how hard your life is, if you put your mind to it and you really want to do something, it's not just a saying, you can do it. And he's just not a leader for the guys on the team, but you know, he's an inspiration to all of us. It's just like, if I can go through the things that I, you know, went through off the court, you know, it's no way anything on the court you know, can be a barrier. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Mauricio Casillas.